Yeah. What up, y'all? Got a damn good review for y'all. But first, intro. Yo, what is up, fam, man? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video slash review video. And yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a good show. It's going to be a damn good show. <laughs> That's right, y'all. We are um, going to be checking out a video that was just released from the Hodge Twins. Shout out to the Hodge Twins, man. I'm a big fan of the Hodge Twins. Funny as hell and very informative at the same time. Now, the video we're about to get into from, from these gentlemen here uh, is simply titled, Larry Elder Ex Exposes um, the Woke Club. <laughs> and yeah, I did see um, other people uh, react to the whole Larry Elder uh, Breakfast Club interview and everything, which... Yo, mad props to Larry Elder for owning Charlemagne the Fraud, as I like to call him, um, on that show. And uh, we finna get into all that, y'all. But let's let's get the Hodge Twins' uh, perspective on this whole thing. But I can hit, hit. Go. Yeah. Got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. It's a damn good show. The Breakfast Club. Y'all to change that show to the Woke Niggas. <laughs> <laughs> man, y'all didn't take that show to the woke fools. Let's go. What? Did I stutter? No, I call it Dumb and Dumber. That's what you should call it. <laughs> they call it Dumb and Dumber. I mean, hey, that one chick that they got on the Breakfast Club, you know what I mean? That be trying to change the... Um, topic be trying to change the questions because she'll be liking the answers that she's getting even though the uh answers be be the whole truth and nothing but the truth so help her lord um yeah man i think she's the the dumbest aspect of that show i'm just saying like dumb real. dumber dumbest yep <laughs> the chick that one chick to come on yeah in? she dumbest <laughs> charlie man is dumb envy is dumber then dumbass is black chick. <laughs> y'all so biased, y'all let it. Oh, it's because they so woke. They are biased. And yes, it is because they are woke as you know what. They is a bunch of woke mofos, you know what I mean, that are biased as all hell. And they try to get Larry Elder in a in some in some aha moments, but they end up backfiring on them on them dumbasses. Let's go. Yeah, that's they cool. only they only see things from one perspective. It's funny black people vote on a ninety ninety percent clip to uh Democrats, they did it for decades and nothing's changed. Look like y'all would eventually wake up and say Not just just the black community that happen to be Democrats, but it's all Democrats. All Democrats. They keep voting for the same people and the same party over and over and over again. And look where it's got us. You know what I mean? I mean with Trump, say what you will about Trump, but we were in a much better situation with Trump in charge. You know what I'm saying? We had a much better economy. Things weren't Things were nowhere near as expensive as they are now. You know what I mean, bruh? We didn't have to worry about in, in inflation when Trump was in charge. I'm just saying. Hey, let me try something different. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so Larry Elder, he's a damn. That's a damn good black man. That's a damn picture right that's there. That's a damn good black <laughs> man. Damn common sense. Yeah. Like I said, props to uh, Larry Elder. Much respect to that man. Man, that, that dude, he, he is he is solid. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. If every black father in America was Larry Elder, oh, man. Oh, the black community would it It'd be paradise. It'd be heaven. <laughs> it'd be heaven. It'd be a yeah. lot of... A whole lot of people would be getting snitched on, but it'd be heaven. Yeah. White people... He, he said a whole lot of people get snitched on, <laughs> but it'd be heaven. People be actually moving in the black neighborhoods. <laughs> yeah. Because if Larry Elder in your neighborhood, if you're black, he calling the cops on you. Said <laughs> <laughs> Larry Elder calling the cops on you. Hey, hey, can you blame the man for wanting his community to do better? I mean, I'm just saying. You messing with my property value. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got to go to jail. Yep. Because <laughs> you ain't trying to do right. 
Yeah. So Larry Elder went on the Breakfast Club. And, and they uh, starting to have more Republicans on. They had Vivek Ramaswamy. Well, that's good. That's good, man. Yeah. At least they're making an effort, man. They ain't making no effort. The only point. The only effort they're trying to make is, like I said, they're trying to get one of their own in a aha gotcha moment. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? You're, you know, here's what here's where I have to call out California on their credibility on being a productive state. And yes, I do live in California, so I'm I'm not afraid to call out my own state. I mean, hell, I've done it before. I'll do it again. <clears throat> we had a chance to have Larry Elder, right, be our governor in a state that's supposed to be, you know, uh, progressive, supposed to be woke, and everything, right? And it had Larry Elder won and became our governor, he would have been our state's first ever black governor. We could have made history. But no, let's keep the uh, the greasy-headed, used car salesman-looking white dude in charge and have him tell us what to do. Because apparently that's, that's what my state wants. You know what I'm saying? So California, stall me out on this whole uh, racist narrative. Because if y'all, if, if my state wasn't so racist, like I said, we would have had Larry Elder as our governor. Boom. There you go. Credibility on, on on California being progressive and woke. Yeah. Right. I'm just saying. Let's go. They bring uh, the right on is try to make them look stupid. But yeah. what y'all don't realize, y'all look even dumber than you really are. Yeah. Just read your comments. Y'all taking these interviews, y'all being disingenuous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all think y'all gonna, y'all not trying to actually listen. And just like my, just like my state trying to be anti-racist. So disingenuous. Comments. Y'all taking these interviews, y'all being disingenuous. Yeah. Y'all think y'all gonna, y'all not trying to actually listen and learn, yeah. get things from a different perspective. Yeah. No, y'all having these people on your show because you wanna, you wanna make an attempt to make them look bad. Yeah. That's why. And that is nothing but pure facts right there. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's all, that's all they, they bring the, the, the uh, conservatives on for. You know what I mean? <clears throat> If you're someone that, that looks like any of them, right, and you're a conservative, something's wrong with you. If you're an independent free thinker, something is wrong with you. That's the narrative that they try to paint for anyone that doesn't agree with them or think the way that they do. Yeah, that's the whole point. But here we go. Let's go check out the video, man. Yeah. Yeah. Pull it up. Have you ever heard <clears> of <throat> the term a uh, nigga wake up call? No. It is an incident where a person of color forgets that they are of color and are reminded rather He's brutally by an unexpected act of racism. Oh, Have you ever now, I, I find it ironic that Shardam and the God called that out and actually read the explanation of what that means because this is the same dude who had Joe Biden, a white man, on his show in a very you know, infamous interview where Joe Biden said, if you don't know whether you should vote between me or Donald Trump, then you ain't black. What? Shouldn't that have been Charlemagne's wake-up moment? I mean, I'm just saying. Uh, I mean, oh, those, brother. You said I'm just asking. I'm just, I mean, you think you... You hear Larry Elder's response? That was my response, too. Oh, brother. <laughs> well, I, I'm acutely aware, Charlemagne, that I'm a black person, just as you are a black person. And when uh, Joe Biden insulted you by saying, mm -hmm. you ain't really black, we don't know whether or not you want to vote for me or vote for Donald Trump, uh, it seems to me that should have been a wake-up call on your part. Thank you, Mr. Elder, sir. That should have been Charlemagne's uh, wake-up call right there. You know what I mean? How are you going to put Larry Elder in a spot like that and try to give him a wake-up call when your ass is in desperate need of a wake-up call? And that should have been your wake-up call. And it went... Or as Peanut would say, over your damn dome. Bruh, let's go. How dare this guy come in here and insult you, a black man, and tell you you got to think a certain kind of way. I'm amazed that you weren't mad about that. I, I was amazed about that, too. But then again, when you're so far left, when you're so deep into the Democratic Party, one has to ask, I mean, should you expect any less now? I mean, given with how Charlemagne handled that situation? Um, I didn't, I'm not gonna say I, it upset me. Just like I'm not letting you upset me. You know what I mean? What? I don't tend to get upset. Why would you be upset? Well, well, what I did say. Why? Why should you be upset with Larry Elder? What? What? What did Larry Elder do? 
I mean, all he did was flip the script on this whole thing that you try to bring on to him. I mean, that 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 could have triggered you. Is that what you're saying, bruh? You put yourself in that hot seat. And by the way, you don't deserve that throne anyway, man. That that looks that looks freaking all kinds of tacky. Well, well, you just not talk about a nigger wake up call, and it seemed to me that that should have been a wake up call on your part to have a white guy come in here who also said, by the way, uh, uh, about Mitt Romney, um, uh, uh, because he didn't want to put more regulations on Wall Street, going to put y'all back in chains. And Joe Biden has lied for decades about his civil rights record, claiming that he desegregated movie theaters and restaurants in, in Wilmington, Delaware. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It, it, it's amazing how selective people's memories can be. Who remembers when Joe Biden? told them that uh, oh they they going to put y'all back in chains quote unquote same Joe Biden the white man who said oh if you don't vote for me you ain't black just saying Delaware when he didn't any didn't do any of that he lied and said that he tried to visit Nelson Mandela during apartheid South Africa he did not and he came in here and told you you aren't even black unless you think a certain kind of way it seemed to me that should have been a nigga wake up call for you but it wasn't apparently <laughs> I mean no, for the record, I'm not a Democrat or Republican I um bullshit you know he's a Democrat you know Charlemagne leans left we you, we know which way you vote Charlemagne don't 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 play yourself dude I, I mean, didn't say I you were. Think, I, think, I don't yeah, know what you are. I, I never yeah. even asked you about your party affiliation. Yeah, I'm just that. saying, you, but you are black. And, and to have a white guy come in here and tell you you have to say, uh, think a certain kind of way, otherwise you, quote, ain't black? Wow. How should I reply? Yeah. Um, how are you going to let Joe Biden tell you how, how, how to think? Someone who doesn't look like you, how are you going to let them get away with telling you and your community how they should think? And, and to have a white guy come in here and tell you you have to say, uh, think a certain kind of way, otherwise you, quote, ain't black? Wow. How should I have replied to him? You... How, can you believe this guy? How should I have re re responded to him? Oh, I don't know. How about, um, excuse me, Joe, um, as a black man, um, I have to tell you, I don't think it's cool for you to tell someone like me or my people how we should think. If we want to vote for you, we're going to vote for you. If we want to vote for Trump, we're going to vote for Trump. Either way, it doesn't make us any le less black. And you as a white man, it is not your place to tell us how we should think. Boom! You would have earned so much respect had you came at Joe Biden that way, dude. But no, you went the bitch made route. You think? What I just now said, how dare you insult me and tell me I, I think as, as a human being, let alone as a black person? I don't tell you how to think, Joe Biden. How dare you come in here and tell me how, to, how I, I, I should think. I'm going to vote for Donald Trump if I want to vote for Donald Trump. And, and if I want to vote for Donald Trump, it does not make me not black. 20% of black people, black men, as I said, uh, voted for Donald Trump. In facts, facts. You have every right to vote for whoever you want to vote for. And it doesn't make you any less of whether, whether you, are, you are black, white, Mexican, Asian. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. It doesn't make you any less than that just because you have a mind of your own and you want to vote the way you want to vote. You're still you at the end of the day, regardless of who you vote for. 2020, are they not black now? So only 80% of black people, black men walking around are really black, 20% are not, because they voted for Donald Trump? How insulting is that? How condescending is that? Mm. Very insulting and very condescending. I, I mean, you're probably right, but I didn't take it in that way. Oh, no, he ain't probably right. He is right. He, he, just, he just schooled you, dude. As well, I, I did. Said, as I said to him in that moment, you know, it's just about me <laughs> wanting something for my people. And I want to know what is he going to do for my people. And not only for my people now, how are you going to atone for the things you've done to my people? Right. That's it. Right. And this is a guy, uh, Joe Biden, who, when he first got into the Senate, hung out with segregationists, talked about how well, he, how well he got along with them, uh, talked about how he didn't want integration because of a jungle. Uh, this guy has made Absolutely. all sorts of insulting things to black people. Same Joe Biden who, again, wrote the 1994 crime bill which got more minorities locked up during the Clinton administration, during the Bush administration, during the Obama administration. And it took Donald Trump to free a lot of those minority folks, you know what I'm saying, who were locked up doing real serious time for nonviolent crimes.
people, and his policies right now are hurting black people. Inflation hurts the people at the bottom more than anything else. Letting a bunch of illegal aliens under, into the border are hurting black people more than anybody else, as I said earlier. He supports uh, uh, opposes school choice when he has his own kids in private school. And his policies right now are hurting black people. Inflation hurts the people at the bottom more than anything else. Letting a bunch of illegal aliens under, into the border are hurting black people more than anybody else, as I said earlier. All facts. Everything's too damn expensive nowadays. You know what I mean? For you know the working class and the lower wor working class. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm barely getting by right now with what I'm getting from work, and it shouldn't have to be that way. But sadly, that's how it is. And then as far as like the immigration concern, having open borders. I'm a Hispanic person, right? I, I, I'm a I'm a son of an immigrant, a grandson of a couple of immigrants. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> as well as a nephew of some immigrants. Now look, my father was brought into this country when he was an eight-year-old boy back in the early 1960s. You know what I'm saying? This was during the whole civil rights movement, right? My grandparents brought him here, brought him, my two, uh, my two Theos, my Thea, God rest her soul. My grandmother, God rest her soul. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> All of them came in here through the legal port of entry. They respected the immigration laws. Same immigration laws that were established way back way back during the days of the founding fathers when they first founded this country and were setting all the rules all the standards all the laws of this great country which included immigration laws by the way which is nothing new it's a, a piece of the system that has always been that has always been there and we get mad when our presidential leaders want to enforce those immigration laws that were already set by the founding fathers don't believe me the internet is your friend go look it up for yourself <clears throat> my grandparents like i said came in through legal port of entry when they brought you know my, my father in you know what i mean had they not done that my father probably my father and the rest of the family they probably would have been deported back to mexico and it's messed up that they have to go through the process of applying for their citizenship and getting approved, waiting for their time to get approved. Well, meanwhile, everyone else that comes in after them don't have to do shit. They can just come right in and do whatever they want without consequence. Not okay! Explain how, that, how that's fair for me and my family. He supports, uh, uh, opposes school choice when he has his own kids in private school. And we lost a year, almost two years of in school. Opposes school choice and he has his kids in private school. Joe Biden, that is. Hmm. Education in California because of COVID that he supported. I mean, this guy has done monstrous things to black people. And then for him to come in here and tell you how you ought to think as a black person, that blew my mind. As a person objectively who doesn't care about either party. When He's objective. You're objective. You know you Democrat. You ain't never. Back, you know, it's trying to make the whole Democrat, and that's why he's dancing around Larry Elder's questions and everything, and uh, deflecting and whatnot. You know what I mean, bruh, bruh? It's trying to make a whole fool, dude. Ever voted for Republican? And if you have voted for Republican, you haven't told nobody that makes you a coward. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Let's. I, I want to add some context to this. Yeah. Hey, don't forget, he had Hillary uh, Clinton on that show. She pulled out a bottle of hot sauce in front of y'all. You forgot about that one. Yeah. Hot sauce. Like black people walk around with hot sauce. Yeah. I'm going to ask him. Can you believe that? Hillary Clinton showed up on their show with a bottle of hot sauce and puts it on the table for them. Like they were just going to snatch that from her or whatever. You know what I mean? Like they're supposed to take that from her. Wow context um, when Joe Biden was on there and he was talking about if you, if you don't vote for me you you ain't black or whatever yeah this the Democrats who who was uh who was the political party in this country that started the Klan Democrats who, facts who was the political party who started Jim Crow whites only black here only who was that Democrats more facts and like Larry Elder said he was close friends with the insect the uh the uh, segregationists in the Democratic Party. Yeah. And then this same white man comes on your show and implies if you don't vote for him, you're not black. More facts. And you didn't take it that way. And you didn't take it that way. Yeah. 
No, you gave him a... Because, see, he was afraid to take it that way because, again, he was scared. He was he was scared and didn't have the balls to speak up to Joe Biden. He didn't have the balls to stand up to Joe Biden. He was afraid. Pass because he's a Democrat because yeah. you're a Democrat. Yep. Yeah. That's why. If Trump would have came on and said that, you would have had something to say. Oh, believe. If Trump were to say that, not only would they then have the receipts to support their claims that Trump would be a racist, but yeah, Charlemagne would have been all over Trump. Best believe. Yeah. If anybody else would have been on that and had Republican by the name, you'd have had something to say. But you let yep. that slide because he's liberal. Yep. He's a Democrat. Y'all let things slide. Y yep. Like y'all let slide Hillary Clinton pulling out a, bo a damn bottle of Texas Pete hot sauce. <laughs> y'all let it slide. Why? Yep. Because you're idiots. Yeah. A bunch of dummies and they're, they're a bunch of cowards. Like, yeah, okay, you're not Democrat? Why you only have Democrat candidates? Like when Trump was running, I'd never seen Republicans on your show. Yeah. You had Kamala Harris on there. You had Hillary Clinton. Kamala Harris is on your show lying to you about smoking weed. She she claimed she was smoking weed with, with Tupac and Snoop Dogg, and Snoop Dogg was like, nope, um, I don't remember her. <laughs> she locked up more black people. and She locked up so many black people in that very same that she said she allegedly committed. Ain't that some shit? She claims she smoked weed and she locked up people who look like her for doing the same thing. What? Biggest form of hypocrisy, ladies and gentlemen, right there. How you gonna lock somebody up for something that you've, at one point in your life, as you claim to have done? What? That woman ain't done, didn't smoke no weed. She ain't even black. Democrats can come on your show and say anything. They can masquerade as anything, yeah. and there's no pushback. But you're not Democrat. Yeah, you def. Exactly. They can go on there and say whatever they want, and no one's going to challenge them. A Republican or a conservative that's not corrupt, you know what I mean, that is pure in, in, in the heart, they go on, they, they say whatever. Best believe they're going to try to get them in a aha, gotcha moment. And that's what Charlie May tried to do with, um, with Larry Elder and ultimately failed. Democrat, you definitely liberal. You're definitely yep. a moron too. He's yep. not a moron. He's biased, which makes him a moron. Moron. <laughs> Dude, you can't even <laughs> spit the question out verbatim. Somebody's feeding you these questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No feeding them, massive. <laughs> Probably a white man feeding you those if questions. If you were a Republican, you would lose your job. Yeah, you Charlemagne. You ain't no libertarian. You a woke fool. That's your nigga wake up call. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a new giveaway going. We giving away a Ram 2500 diesel. Bruh, that, that was actually a sweet looking Ram. I wouldn't mind trying that, trying to get that myself. $10,000 in cold hard cash. Ooh. Yeah. Don't forget, we throwing the Cummins transmission in now. Comes with it. The end of the weird. Go to officialhawkstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you all in America. What? It is the win. You thick tongue nigga. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. So that was the Hodge Twins with Larry Elder exposes the woke club. And yo, definitely going to mash the like on this. Like I said, I love the Hodge Twins, man. Those dudes are hilarious as hell. And uh, like I said, very informative. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, shout out to the Hodge twins. And also I want to give a shout out to King Blitz, man. I've been watching um, a lot of his reactions as of late. He's been um, keeping track with everything that's going on with, with, with the Biden um, family, uh, with Donald Trump and all these other things that are going on, you know what I mean, with the with the current climate, you know what I mean, and, and the current events and whatnot. So yo, shout out to King Blitz for that, man. I encourage y'all to go check out uh, King Blitz. I, I believe it's called Kingdom Reacts. Uh, channel so yeah make sure y'all y'all go hit that up man uh, very very informative stuff over there as well now y'all know the deal <clears throat> if you want to watch this video on your own free time uninterrupted you know what i'm saying as you would like on your own free time y'all know to do with the link that'll be provided in the uh, description down below and of course if y'all are feeling the vibes over here don't forget to do all the youtube thing things to support your boy that'd be very much appreciated and uh yeah till the next one Y'all are a blessed one, all right? Best believe. This was a damn good show. I had to get one more in. But anyway, peace.
Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name's Jimmy Badass. What happened to that dude on the street? Who's saying what's up, Jimmy? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!